Two passengers with coronavirus on the Diamond Princess cruise ship have died. Media reports from Japan say the man and woman were both aged in their 80s. New Zealand's Director General of Health has told Checkpoint they are not New Zealanders. They're the first deaths from the plagued cruise ship, which has had the largest cluster of virus cases outside mainland China. Six New Zealanders returning from the Diamond Princess are due into Whanuapai at about 8 o'clock tonight. They're travelling on a 13-seater plane from Darwin after a Qantas jumbo jet flight to Darwin with about 170 Australian evacuees this morning. The Director General of Health, Ashley Bloomfield, told journalists they have been tested several times on their journey and they are travelling with a doctor and a St John paramedic. The six passengers will arrive into Whanuapai, then they'll be transported up to the reception centre at Whangaparaoa. If anyone is symptomatic or develops symptoms during the flight, they will be taken to hospital and uh, treated appropriately, including any testing that might be warranted. Uh, the crew and the doctor on board that charter flight, which is actually an Australian uh, aircraft, they'll head then back to Melbourne. Uh, and the crew and the St John paramedic who's flying back and is a New Zealander will not be required to go into isolation or quarantine. They've been taking full uh, precautions, including the use of personal protective equipment. Dr Bloomfield says the two New Zealanders who were not able to board the plane in Tokyo because they had tested positive are being cared for in Japan. They did not know they had the virus until they were tested. Now, the returning group will spend two weeks in quarantine at Whangaparaua. Dr Bloomfield says it's vital New Zealand stays free of the virus for as long as possible. As we look and watch what's happening in China, we can see each day a, a, a reduced number of cases being reported and we can see that the number of other countries reporting cases is not increasing uh, so it's a it's a great opportunity for us to maintain that keep it out phase and so really we just see that bringing people back putting them in quarantine as part of our overall effort to maintain that phase and that was dr ashley bloomfield